Hi, I'm Bill Cook from Greenlee County Cooperative Extension, and this is part of our series on uh, fruit and nut trees and grafting. I'm going to talk a little bit about rootstock. This is half of your tree. Most folks don't recognize the fact that the rootstock is half the tree. A Granny Smith is a Granny Smith and does real well here, but maybe only on a particular rootstock. So, when you're out shopping for trees, it's good to educate yourself a little bit about rootstock. If you get a chance, go to the Dave Wilson Nursery website. He has tutorials that are a little more detailed than what we're going to talk about today. So the rootstock is what your fruit tree is grafted onto. Apricots, almonds, apples, what your nut trees are grafted onto, um, you know, walnuts, all that good stuff. Pecans. So the function of a rootstock is to adapt your plant to your situation. Here in the arid southwest, we have typically alkaline soils, um, dry, and oftentimes a heavy clay content, which is a real problem for an apple tree sometimes, on its own roots especially. So rootstocks have been developed that are tolerant of specific soil types and specific situations. Uh, we use an apple as an example. If you go to a tutorial and you look, you'll see the MM111 rootstock is one of the more adaptable rootstocks. It's tolerant of heavy soils, it tolerates uh, alkalinity, that sort of thing. Which tells us that if that's the rootstock we use to put, to put our apples onto, we're going to have a much better, uh, higher rate of success. Uh, the other functions besides the soil, some rootstocks can dwarf. Right here is an example. This is an Emla 7 rootstock. It produces a tree, an apple tree, about six, 50 to 60 percent the size of a standard tree, meaning it'll get 10, maybe 12 feet tall. And of course, it'll be easy to keep it small. One of the nice things about some of these dwarfing rootstocks is that they do tend to produce earlier. So, rootstock is a very, very important part. It's half of the tree, and it should be half of your tree purchase process. Uh, here's another example. English walnuts here in Duncan, they don't do too well. It's the soil. So what we have here is a native black walnut. These things grow all over the place. Well, you can graft your English walnut, assuming it's a, a compatible variety, you can graft your English walnut or your French walnut onto the black walnut rootstock. And there you go. You have roots that do well here, and you have a top that does well with our client air it, you know, the climate above ground, and you can have English walnuts. So it works out real well. So that's the rundown on rootstocks.